Join me today on Walk With History from the Crazy Horse Monument in South Dakota. Hi, Jen of Walk With History, historian, museum professional, veteran. Uh, today we're at Crazy Horse, right outside of Hill City, South Dakota, close to Mount Rushmore. And we're at the memorial being built here uh, I have visited here since I was a kid in the 80s. This has been going on for 75 years, this memorial being built. And the American Indians had actually asked somebody to come here and to sculpt it. So it's the family of that sculptor that still builds it today. But we're going to talk more about the history of the area, the history of Crazy Horse, and the family that sculpts it, and where they are today, and what it'll eventually look like, and what they eventually want this area to be when it's done. So here at Crazy Horse, they really are telling the American Indian story the Sioux, the Lakota, the Arapaho, that were from this area. And they drew a really good depiction of their way of life and a lot of their artifacts are museums here. And that is what Crazy Horse is depicting, the way of life of the American Indian. was Crazy Horse. He lived from 1840 to 1877, so he dies young at 37 years old. He's a Lakota war leader, and he took up arms against the United States and the federal government in the fight against encroachment of white settlers on the Native American territory. He participated in several famous battles, the Black Hills War of the Great Plains, but he's actually killed at Fort Robinson, Nebraska. He's bayoneted there at 37 years old. So this is a very good art uh, exhibit to the code talkers. The code talkers of World War II used the Lakota uh, language to talk. And because it's so unique to America, it couldn't be deciphered. And so this gives honor to one of their, Corporal Garfield Brown, one of the code talkers of the Lakota. Look at this wall of Western art here at Crazy Horse. I mean, this is just beautiful. It's a whole wall depicting Western life. It's really amazing. So these are the Custer survivors. Sitting Bull is the last one, 36. So Sitting Bull is that last one. what it's supposed to look like when it's done. There's also some controversy, of course, around this. Again, the Black Hills not belonging to uh, the people who are building this. The, the Black Hills belongs to the American Indians, and that it's really not honoring Crazy Horse, that it's actually honoring the jewel. Let me see if I can say this right again the Jolkovsky family and not actually honoring Crazy Horse. So there's some controversy around it as well. That's right, Korchok Jolkovsky lived from 1908 to 1982. He was born in Boston and he gained recognition at the 1939 World's Fair and that attracted the attention of Chief Henry Standing Bear who invited Korchok Jolkovsky to the Black Hills to carve a 
crazy horse. And after much consideration, he accepted, um, and he he met a uh, Ruth. Ross, who came with them, they were married, they had 10 children, and they took part in building this dream of Crazy Horse. Now, it's been 75 years since the first blast. So this is what they eventually want the Crazy Horse Monument to encompass, like a whole college, a whole living area. They want a sports team, they want an airfield, they want a university, they want a school. This is like, it's a whole concept idea that the monument is going to overlook a college with with all this kind of uh, livelihood and people who live here and thrive here and learn here and are educated here. So this is, this is more than just a monument. It was just it's, it's to encompass a whole dream and future for the Amer uh, Native American people. But why Crazy Horse, right? He's the Lakota leader. Korchak, he felt like Crazy Horse had never been known to have signed a treaty or touch a pen. And his left hand is gesturing out in response to the question, where are your lands now? And his reply, my lands are where my dead lie buried. So they're doing a, uh, an Indian powwow ceremonial dance behind me, a medicine dance, a dance for healing and a young girl is doing the dance. There's a modern version and a traditional version. They're doing both. And actually, it's dance day in competition as well. But behind me, you can still see Crazy Horse. And uh, it's just an honor to be here today. I hope you enjoyed this walk with history. I hope you enjoyed us walking through here and telling you all about the history of the people who still find this land to be theirs today. On to our next walk with history.